Hello children. Today let us learn a new lesson in EVS 1. Children, before we begin with our lesson, you have to answer my few questions. Are you all ready? Children, now look at the picture and tell me whether it is a living thing or a non-living thing. Tree. Very good. Living thing. Car. Non-living thing. Boy. Living thing. Umbrella. Non-living thing. Dog. Living thing. Bag. Non-living thing. Butterfly. Living thing. Cap. Non-living thing. Excellent children. Now children, tell me any five things that we get from the tree. Yes, we get fruits, vegetables, medicine, wood and paper. Excellent children. Now children, you have to solve this riddle. Listen carefully. An age-old tree with a thick strong trunk gives deep dark shade from the scorching sun like an old man's beard with many strands it has ropes for swinging from every branch come on tell me who am i Yes, it's the banyan tree. The banyan tree gives shade to people. It gives shelter to birds and animals. Children use the roots to swing. In many ways, trees are useful to us. We get so many things from our environment. The air we breathe, water that we drink. So children, today let us learn something more about it. In the lesson, the interrelationships between living things. Interrelationship means... How we are connected to each other. Let's learn. Plants in our surroundings. Children, there are many plants in our surrounding. These plants are useful to us. Now children, I will be showing you few plants. Look at this plant. You all must have seen it. Isn't it children? We call it as pan. It is a beetle vine plant. The heart shaped leaves are used for medicinal purposes. It is used as a mouth freshener. Now children, look at this beautiful tree. The name of this tree is Flame of the Forest. It is also known as Palas. Children, the various parts of the plants like flowers, bark, leaf, and seed guns are used for medicinal purposes.
children now tell me what is this yes methi methi bhaji i hope you all eat the leafy vegetables very good girls methi leaves are used to make vegetable it is good for digestive system for heart and bones adulsa or vasaka it is used to cure cough and cold now children tell me what is this yes curry leaf it is also called as kadi patta children you must have seen mummy using curry leaf to give tadka this curry leaf have many health benefits it help to boost digestion hair growth it improves blood circulation and controls side effects now children just like this there are many plants which are useful to us now children let us learn about the needs of the living things the needs of living things are met in the environment children we have many needs and all our needs are fulfilled by the environment the need of food clothes shelter air and water now children food water and air are the needs of every living things isn't it we all need food water and air but children there are differences in needs of each kind of living things for example a mouse that drinks water in an entire day would not be enough for an elephant even at one time now children we all know butterflies feed on the nectar of flowers can a frog do the same no frog eats insect a sheep eats the leaves can a tiger do the same no the tiger hunts and eat other animal now children we all know that fish lives in water they can live in water because they use the oxygen dissolved in water they breed with the help of gills now children tell me can pigeon do that no isn't it now children have you ever seen this this are bull rushes they grow in water now can a lemon tree can also grow in water no they require soil to grow children from all these examples you must have now understood that there are differences in the needs of each kind of living things now children let us learn about living in area where needs are fulfilled children look at this beautiful plant 
The name of this plant is silver dust plant. It is a winter plant and it requires less water. Now children, look at this pot. This is the same plant, silver dust plant. What must have happened to it? Plants that are not aquatic plants cannot grow in marshy area. If they get more water than they need, they rot. Children, you can try the activity given on the page number 8. Children, where does a tiger live? Yes, a tiger lives in a jungle, in the caves. Children, have you ever wondered why does the tiger have stripe on its body? Have you ever? Due to its stripes, the other animals cannot locate him. Now, as I have told you, the tiger lives in the cave and he hides among the tall grasses. Now, there are animals like deer, nilgai and the bison. They cannot spot him. And these are the animals who can't to eat grass. They are the herbivorous animals. And these animals are the tiger's prey. Tiger easily feeds on them. For a tiger... There also needs to be a water hole nearby which never dries up even in the summer. There must also be dense vegetation, tall grasses or caves in hills or mountains in the area so that the tiger can find shelter. A tiger inhabits an area where all these things are available. Children, let's do a quick revision of what we have learned today. We have many needs such as food, water, shelter, clothes and air. All these needs are fulfilled by the environment. Needs of different kinds of things are different. A type of living thing lives only where all its needs are fulfilled. A tiger inhabits the hilly areas or grassland where it can take shelter in caves. Kindly solve the given worksheet and submit it to your respective WhatsApp group. Thank you. Take care. We shall continue the next topic in the next period.